Star Citizen's new 3.23 patch is massive and has lots of features and I would like to do a dedicated scripted guide on each one of them that would take too long. I just want to show you guys uh, what is going on in the EPTU right now. This is a series of videos. In this video, we're going to be covering the uh, Moby Glass. In the previous video, we covered the character customizer. In the video before that, we covered the new Launcher 2.0. So if you guys want to check those out. Next video is going to probably be EVA. That's my, I can't say it's my favorite feature, but it's the biggest surprise out of all of them on how good it works. It's really awesome. So stay tuned to that. That video will be coming out tomorrow. Uh, today, we're going to be covering the Moby Glass, like I said, and let's just get right into it. I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about the brand new Moby Glass and Map app, and we're starting right now. Before we get to the part of this video that I've already pre recorded, uh, I want to go over a small change. This middle part here for your ship information kind of didn't make sense um, in the last patch, but they recently updated it and now we have, and now it makes a little bit more sense. Let me explain how it, it works. Before I had any ship delivered, there was you know no ship data or it was null for this little um, ship hollow viewer thing here. Uh, then once I actually delivered the MSR, it appeared there. Now. Uh, I don't have anything actually out on the pad, so it's not giving me any information. Let me show you what that'll look like. So if I go down here and I pull out the Mercury Saw Runner, like actually retrieve it. Okay, the ship is kind of there. Yep. There we go. Now we actually have our ammunition and fuel information for the MSR. And let's see, if we pull out another ship, the Titan, we have no information on that. We go to the terminal, we should store the MSR which it did, but I don't think the Titan is actually out on the pad yet. MSR definitely has been stored. We go, Titan is here. And now I see it in the menu and there we go. That works like how I would expect it to. Also another small change from what you guys are gonna see in the video is if you hit the arrow, it will take you to the vehicle inventory manager like I thought it would, like I thought it should, should do. And then this navigation point brings you to where you are there. That's kind of weird, isn't it? Well, I thought it maybe it was gonna show me where it was in, in the world. Uh, let's try that again. Yeah, no, it doesn't show me where the ship actually is. Maybe it would if the vehicle was actually in this object container. That's what I'm thinking there. Anyway, let's just get back to the rest of the video. We have the new Moby Glass. And here it is, guys. It's kind of a lot, but it's simple. I, I, I got it down packed within seconds, pretty much. Uh, right now, we're on the home screen. You just tap F1 to get to that. If you did F2, it would take you to the star map. And uh, I believe F12. Is it F12? No, that brings up that F11. F11 brings up, what is it, comms or something? Yeah, it brings up comms. I was having trouble loading it. Anyway. Let's tap it again, make it go away. Or maybe that's bugged. No. Uh, yeah, it might be bugged. Let's try again. F11. I found a bug. Look at that. Okay, just hitting F1 to go into the Moby Glass. You have your home location here. Uh, let's just go over briefly. You have your contracts. If you have any missions accepted, you get a brief little uh, deal here where you can take a look at what contracts you have selected. You have notifications, uh, which or just your, your recent notifications. So that's nice that you get to go back and see. So if someone's like popped up and you missed it because you were, you know, maybe in combat, I think it's pretty cool. You can, you can literally see them in order. Yeah. And you can also hit the X on these to clear them out. We also have reputation. You have Hurston dynamics and your crime stat. If you get a crime stat, then this shield will turn to uh, a shield with the amount of stars for crime set that you have. You got a level two crime set, you have two stars in there. Vehicles, you have your um, your ammunition, your you know hide your fuel. And this part here is, was kind of weird. It took me a while to figure out how this part works. So to put a ship here, and this is really weird, I don't fully understand if it's bugged or what. I have a list of, okay, now this time I only have a, a list of four ships. An MSR, a Buccaneer, a Cutter, and a Vulture. Now I haven't delivered any of these vehicles. Earlier yesterday, I had a list of a lot more, but it wasn't all my ships. 
So really weird. Anyway, currently right now we have the MSR selected by default, but it's not really selected. If you go back through here and click Buccaneer, go back to MSR if, if that's what you wanted to do. You click this little toggle again, and now your MSR is going to show up here in this little hollow viewer thing. It doesn't do anything else other than that. Like I'm clicking, it's not doing anything. I don't know. It looks cool. And it doesn't even have to be the ship you're in or pulled out or anything. Let's check the status of my MSR right now and see actually where because it might be like destroyed Welcome or not here. Because I was fine. I look, it's it's on it's on ores and stored. So I'm I'm gonna claim it. Your insurance claim has been sent. Thank you. Okay, back end service is running pretty good that I was able to do that really quick. Okay, let's go back into it. So yeah, I'm not sure what that is, but you could you could do that. That's cool. You have your environment. It's a lot of the same information that we've always had, just looks prettier. You have your health. Again, same information. You do have EVA fuel, which we'll get into EVA later. Mind blown there. Be prepared to have your mind blown. Uh, and oxygen. Now, the fuel doesn't currently work right now. It never goes below 100%. So you have infinite fuel. I don't know how long that's going to be a thing, but that's just currently how it works right now. Uh, last thing before I go into the individual tabs is you guys notice that there's arrows at the upper uh, right hand corners of the of the different sections. If you click those, it brings you to the corresponding tab. I really like that. I think that's really dope. So if you want to get in, so uh, contracts takes you to contracts, notification takes you to your journal, uh, reputation takes you to your uh, rep and your uh, this this one takes you to not the vehicle inventory manager but the maintenance one for refueling and all that so i thought that was kind of odd i'd like to see it maybe be a dynamic and if i if i'm doing it here have it pull up the vehicle inventory manager or if i'm doing it while i'm in the ship on a pad then go to landing i don't know maybe that that will be the way it's gonna work i, I don't know that's just my opinion on how i think it should work um your environment takes you to uh, this page for your health and your the other one will take you to the same the same one. I think you got a little bit more information here. So you, you just get like an at a glance look at these different segments right there on this home page. Uh, I'm not going to go over the health stuff. This is pretty self-explanatory. I think you guys can figure that out. Comms. Uh, there's a couple of these um, like tabs that haven't changed since the uh you know from live like this part of the tab is no different no changes there at all for comms most of them have changed though so here's the contracts tab it's self-explanatory you got delivery missions you find your delivery mission click it. it may need a second to load certain ones odd yeah you know it's a ptu boys this is what happens you can accept it uh let's go ahead and uh we're gonna go we're gonna accept we're gonna go mercenary and accept a call to arms uh one important thing to note that i realized when i logged back in this morning when i logged in it gave me a notification that i had accepted call to arms and i think what the game did was is it persisted the fat the missions that i had the problem is though i think that's what it was trying to do the missions wound up just being abandoned so i can go into my history and see mercenary called arms abandoned uh, there's currently a bug where the status right here will show the status or whatever you have clicked oh it looks like I bet yeah I abandoned all these because they didn't these two didn't work we'll get to that uh, bounty hunter though I completed this one failed that one anyway so you have a list I did these yesterday and I failed failed this one I don't want to talk about it Go back and look through the Twitch VODs if you want to see that shit show. So, you can mark all as red. Let's go back to offers. Yes, yeah, so we have a call to arms accepted. And I'm also going to accept a nest extermination. Gonna go ahead and accept that offer. And there you go. Nest extermination. Hopefully, we'll be able to... I didn't get to do this yesterday. But hopefully, I'm going to go ahead and track it. Down here at the bottom right. Hopefully, we'll be able to do that today. But I had some issues where I couldn't get the marker yesterday. Uh, yeah, anyway, back to offers. It's self-explanatory. Yeah, I think you guys got that. Let's move on to you got accepted history and beacons. If you want to create a beacon 
or uh, accept someone's beacon, it'll show up in the list here. Yeah, I think that's pretty self-explanatory. This is very intuitive in my opinion. And here we are, boys, with the map app. So one thing that you'll notice here on out, there's no more um, star map, which star map was actually, they can't use that name anymore because it's more than a star map now. But you notice assets, rep, wallet, there's no more uh, um, Delphi item manager. No, the Delphi was the rep. No more Delphi. There's no more knickknacks. And there's no more Mo Trader. Because those were dumb names. Maybe Mo Trader was fine. But I always thought those were dumb names. And I'm so glad that they went in here and actually gave them regular names. So, uh, anyway, back to the maps. Now, there's a lot here. We're in a landing zone. So you can pick like different POIs from this list here. I kind of wish it didn't zoom in and out when I scroll through here, but whatever. Uh, I zoomed in too far. Let's uh, let's go ahead and click. Like, let's say I wanted to go to the hospital. I click that, and there it takes me to the hospital. I'm just going to zoom out a little bit. Uh, down at the bottom right, you can see you can set route with R. You can't set a route until you place a pin currently. So I tap T to place a pin. I'm going to make a marker called test. These. Click confirm. And there we got our testes marker. Now that I have that selected, I can tap R. Oh, I might not be able to path to there because I think I'll have to take the tram, right? Yeah, because I'm here at the, okay. Let's go to spaceport. Let me just verify that what I said earlier was correct. I'm currently right here. Let's set a waypoint for here with set route R. Okay. So it puts it wherever the middle of, in the middle of wherever you have the map. I scroll through here and I, I put, you see the X? Uh, let me move this out of the way. You see the, the X there? Just put that where you want it to go and you tap R for set route. You do not have to make a pin. I'm so glad I figured that out. Oh my God. Yeah, some of this stuff is a little, a little wonky to figure out, but yeah, I, I, I would have liked to have seen it to be where my mouse was. I think that that would have been a little bit more intuitive, but whatever. Once you know, you know. Uh, you can tap X to go to your location. And then cross section view just like allows you to like see like on the other side of walls and stuff. Very subtle. I guess if you want to clean that up a little bit. Oh, cool. It kind of hides what you can't actually physically see. Hmm. Nope. I don't know why that did that. Looks like we can see an 890 Jub. Uh, Jub. Is that an 890? No. That's the Mustang Alpha or Delta. You see the Mustang Delta on the on that pad there. And let's see, do we have a hammerhead? Yeah, you can you can faintly see the outline. Oh, I tie I, I put cross section view back on now. You can see all the doors and everything on the hammerhead. Wait till you guys see the, the ship one. That I guess you basically saw it, but okay. Anyway, legend. We got all the things there. I think that's pretty much it. Of course, the best thing part about this is this is also your star map. So you can zoom out and you can see the planet. You can scroll out. You can see all types of points of interest. If you hover over them, it'll actually tell you the commodities that this place has. One thing that I don't like is that let's say you zoom out here and you got a bunch. Let's say I wanted to go like scroll that scroll wheel next to the hospital. See how it changed to whatever I, I hovered over. I don't like that. I would like to be able to select the place and then just have that stick, but it doesn't do that. So what you have to do is you hover over it, you very carefully move your mouse around, careful not to cover, uh, hover over another thing, and you could scroll through. That's a workaround until they hopefully get that fixed. That's a little issue I have with it. You can set route. There's no route available because we're here. That backs up to, okay, cool. So that zooms out. So you can you know take a step back let me go to my location. You can take a step back by either hitting that back arrow in the menu or you can tap Q and that zooms you out one, click it again, zooms you out to the whole system. And of course, there's nothing else. There's no pyro in this. So this is all you'll be able to see is stand. No problem there. Yeah. Okay. So you can pick a thing. So let's say you wanted to click Everest Harbor. Now. See here, I have it selected. If I zoom out and I want to go back into it, I just tap E. And that's how you work the map. The best part about the star map, when you actually zoom out to the star map level, is the search feature. 
you tap you click this it goes into search and you can type in what you want to look for first thing i looked for is jump town just by this is the first thing that came to my mind okay there we go jump town okay select jump town and it will take you to whatever planet that's on. Somebody explain this in the, in the comments to me. Why is Jumptown on Daymar now? Everything else is here is actually on Daymar, like noon waste management. If I type in um, 157 in the search, one, oh, one, 157, you got Arcor Mining Area 157. We all know that that's on Yella. That's on Yella. So it's not like they got the labeling mixed up with the planets, no. Jumptown is now a Daymar. Why? They can't do that. You can't do that. Put it back. You don't just move it. It's a better location. I mean, put it on a better location on Yella. Yeah, that's the search function. <laughs> Dope. I almost want to cry. Not gonna lie. I almost want to cry. Like this is gonna be so awesome for like a new player. You know what I mean? Because you know, you know, we I know the star map, right? Like I, I've been playing this game since 2018, and a lot of the stuff hasn't changed. I know where stuff is. But a new person may not. And yeah, it's a, it's a fuzzy search. I mean, I, I love it. Next up, you've got the journal. It, this is self-explanatory. I'm just going to mark all those red. And go into assets. The assets is the old Knickknacks app. And it really is exactly the same. It's just got, just like it's reskinned. So uh, it's loading here for me again. Here we go. So we're at Hurston. Everest Harbor. We can see what we have here uh, currently at this location. I got some uh, components that I took off ships earlier. Uh, Crusader Spirit. You can open it up and see what's inside of the spirit. Uh, yeah. Different pages. I don't necessarily know. Like, what, what is exactly is the purpose of this? I don't know. You're going to have to go to one of these terminals that they have around eventually you'll have to go to these terminals to get your loot they don't work currently right now i don't know if that's even going to be a 3.23 thing it will have to go there but eventually the menu when you tap i that that storage will go away and you'll only be able to grab things from those terminals but they're everywhere though like they peppered them around everywhere this is probably the less dense that i've seen them i go down there there's more yeah anyway plenty of those let's uh, wrap this up here with the mobile glass your rep has a new skin i actually have not looked at this so i did but i didn't have any people in here yet oh that's cool we're at zero percent with the bounty hunters guild it shows you if you slip up a little bit you go into the red you need to do quite a bit to get out of neutral you it's the same thing you have your career you have your dossier the, the dossier uh will show you like people like miles eckhart will show here uh your career will show you like actual like companies and stuff uh, which we have only one we have is bounty hunters guild because I did the tracker training permit and yeah, it's uh, it's really the same thing. Let's see if it gives me let's see not eligible applicant. It doesn't give me any additional info if I click it, which I guess is fine. I thought it did before. I guess everything I need to know is here. Additional contracts, junior guild member, blah, 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 blah. Wallet. Wallet is the old mole trader app. You click begin. You can search for people. Ram. See, this is weird. I type in just Ram, and he doesn't come up. This guy who has Ram at the end of his name did. It's, it's really weird. Ram 2. I type in Ram 2, and you come up. So you're going to have to type in the person's name, like, pretty much, ver like, verbatim, which is, which is really weird. Uh, the old app didn't do that. But anyway, that's the way it currently works here in the PTU. Hopefully, they get that part fixed. But you click the person. Uh, See, so you, you know, you're sending it to... And you just type in the amount. I'll give you my two cents. Total cost three. It cost me a cent to send the two cents. Bam. I just sent him two alpha UVC. It's hard out there, you know, for a citizen. Landing. Same thing. Vehicles. Same thing. No changes there. And that's it. That's my amount of money. 14.9 mil. There's my name. Don't really know what those are. Maybe it's just part of the UI. I don't know. I think that's the Moby Glass like icon. Anyway, yeah, that's it. That is the Moby Glass. Here we are in the star map for another feature. So a couple things here. Uh, my door's open here. You notice that you can see me where I'm located on the ship. If you're in the cockpit, it puts you in the middle. 
It's odd. I think it's just a weird way that the game works. Hope they, hopefully they can fix that because it's kind of odd. But um, while you're walking around, it'll actually show like where your pip is. And as you can see, you can see people moving around in your ship. You can also see doors opening and closing in real time. Just like the minimap. I tried. You can't see weapons shooting or anything. They don't do anything. But I'm not going to lie. Like, that's really cool. This is really cool. Uh, I wish I could click and like have it follow the person for longer than like a half a second. And like so I can like track them. That's so cool. All right, Ram, do me a favor. Leave the party. But now walk through a door. Whoa. What what door did you walk through? And look at this chat. Look at that. I got another yeah, player. Close enough to another ship, you can see my ship. That is so dope, dude. I don't see what door you're manipulating, uh, Ram. Okay, you near me. I saw you in, in my view. There we go. So you can still see the person like activating doors. So if you suspect that somebody might be in your ship, I think you still get a, like alerted by it. And if you don't, we will. They will actually have a system in place so you can know if, if there's an intruder. But it doesn't show them. I kind of wanted to. Nah, I don't want it to show it. It would make sense that you'd be able to see the person in your ship. If you can see the doors moving uh, with technology and 900 years in the future or whatever. Uh, but I think it makes for cool gameplay for you to be kind of hunting around for some guy that's like stowed away in your ship. And you're like, oh, this door down here just opened. He's over in that area. Um, I don't know, man. Like, this shit's just fucking cool, dude. Uh, wh wait, where did you go, d -Rack? I'm going to your cargo elevator. Oh. Was I able to see you move fr from... How did yeah, that yeah, work? If, yeah, like, uh, if your ship is close enough to my ship, you can see the interior of my ship. No, no, like, I can see that, but, like, how did you move from your ship to mine? I wasn't paying attention, if that makes sense. So, if you could leave... Uh, yeah, I'm leaving. I'm going to my ship now. You're EVAing right now? Yep. Oh, my God, that's so dope. You can see your party members EVAing outside of your ship. Which brings us to our next point, boys. <laughs> Uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure if I'm ready to actually go to the next point yet, but we're going to talk about EVA in a second. No, 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 we're not. <laughs> this video is already too long. Uh, that video will be out tomorrow. Uh, make sure you guys are subscribed and have the bell clicked and all that um, so you guys can see that video. It's honestly my favorite. It's my favorite new feature. But, like, it's not the best new feature, right? Obviously, like, the new star map and and Moby Glad, like all the all those quality of life features are are better but the eva is my favorite one just because of how well it worked day one coming out of the box so anyway hope you guys enjoyed that video to be out tomorrow stay tuned i'll see you guys in the next one